Hey, Rob. Hey, hey guys. How you doing? Good, good. So I'm here with Chris Hale and Philip Valdez, both technical illustrators here at ADEC. Now, as I understand it, guys, you guys are already using some of the engineering data. I see you're here in 3ds Max Design. That's right. What are you, what are you currently doing inside of 3ds Max Design with the engineering data? Uh, well, we bring it in and we render it out as stills and put it into a printed publication. Nice. So, I've seen your printed publications and they're, they're, they're as high quality as the, the, the product itself. I, uh, what I'm getting is uh, from here at ADEC is the sense of you know, quality is permeated throughout the organization. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, what do you, you guys, uh, how do you take that and then put that into what it is you do from a technical publication standpoint? Well, it depends. Sometimes we pull them from Max into Photoshop mm -hmm. and then render those out to uh, put them in FrameMaker and okay. then we send it off to the printer. Uh, sometimes we just go straight to PDFs. Mm -hmm but it's a long process. Okay. So a couple months ago I was here and I showed Chris some new technology that we have. It's called the Vetter Publisher. Now at the time I showed you, you said, Rob, I'm not going to even look at this thing until we have both vault integration and we have the ability to make line art. Well, I've got good news. We just installed the latest version of Publisher on your machine. So I'd like to walk you through a quick explosion if that's all right. Okay, and I appreciate you. your feedback. So we've got a, a nice, good isometric shot here. Um, a couple of the things that I like to do is go, go ahead and go to the View tab. And then change that to uh, Perspective, where it says Orthographic. There we go. Maybe turn on Ground Shadow. And choose uh, Auto Explode All Levels. Now what this is going to do is this, this is going to basically take and disassemble your, your model to the best of its ability. Um, and I think you'll be pretty, pretty happy with the results here in that you know, most of it, it, it recognized that it needed to explode in a linear fashion. So what you can do is, is at, each step, uh, at each step throughout this, this assembly, you can control visibility, you can determine placement and orientation, um, send it back to where it needs to go. Now what's, what's cool about this is, is just the process of you creating a assembled and exploded view mm -hmm. automatically created an animation for you. So if you double click on your first shot, You can see that the, uh, go ahead and click off in space to deselect that, that move there. And then double click on the other one. That easy, right? And then uh, that, that movie file can actually be exported. So if you go up to the, your home tab there and choose publish, pull that little arrow down. You can see that we have the ability to publish video, DWF, flash files, image, PDF, and your favorite down there, vector. So you'll notice that we have the ability to also publish uh, to mobile. Now I, bought my, I brought my iPad here for you to take a look at, at Inventor Publisher. So what Inventor Publisher does is once you publish this up to, uh, to our servers up there, you, you can then access your document. So let me go ahead and pick on that. I've already done a little bit of work with this one for you, but take a look at that. Now the interaction that you have, you, know, you can actually just with one finger rotate around, two fingers will actually zoom it. And then if you <laughs> and then if you double click on say the handle for example and then hit the arrow you can get the engineering eye property information so that you don't have to re-put you don't have to type in manually the part number the description uh, the the weight of the uh, of the uh, uh, of the part and all that it actually comes through th from inventors eye properties so if you just hit play on that you see I've set up a couple different views and you can adjust the timing and length in which each one of these shots actually holds still for you, right? Automatic cool. ballooning, again the part number and description and everything come across. So here's a nice exploded view. These callouts are pulling from the eye property information inside of Inventor. So just like you saw the ability to, to, to pull that apart information from double clicking on it, the same type of information comes across, so your, your part numbers and your, all your callouts and everything are going to be completely accurate. Chris, thank you so much. Philip, it's nice to it's meet you. Well, that's it from Technical Publications. Um, I'm really interested to hear the feedback from their 30-day free trial, and uh, thanks again, guys. You're welcome. Right. Oh, I need my iPad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with it. <laughs> So I had a great day here in Newburgh at ADEC and uh, you know something as simple as a relocation has absolutely revolutionized the dental equipment industry. 
you know, that repurposing of the engineering data and something as simple as a washer design and how that's automated through to the uh, assembly and uh, technical publications department, how they document this light for their exploded views, its assembly instructions, and its maintenance instructions. And we also heard from engineering how important it was for them to be able to capture their design in a digital model to be able to visually experience it, but also be able to print this thing out so they could feel what it actually felt like before it was real. Now what that all manifests into is to me is some of the most innovative and, and quality uh, dental equipment that I've ever seen before. And let me tell you, you, know, you sit in one of these things, and I don't think you would mind getting a root canal. <sighs> I do have some dental work coming up, so uh, go ahead, boys. See what you can do about these chiclets. We'll see you.